Paul Ryan is livid. President Trump to unleash major executive order on Congress, patriots are cheering. Obamacare is going into disrepair as we watch. So ineffectively composed and misguided was the legislation that it started to fall apart even before the president for which it was named left office. No big surprise at that point House Speaker Pelosi demanded to pass this disaster in holding up with all dispatch. Is to some degree diverting this is a Democrat's wreckage that even the Democrats couldn't settle. Sadly, Republican administration in Congress has not improved. In any event, they have not exacerbated the situation, but rather they plainly neglected to repeal and replace the legislation when given the possibility. This is particularly reprehensible in that they had room schedule-wise to have appropriate legislation prepared to go. Dislike the activity to give Obamacare the deep six ought to have come as an amazement. President Trump isn't the Congress, yet he has significant breathing space with regards to marking executive orders to finish at any rate some portion of what Republican leaders in Congress have neglected to do, that being the disassembling of Obamacare. He now is accounted for to have an executive order prepared to go to end the detested individual mandate. We might check whether Republican leaders, for example, Speaker Paul Ryan can complete this activity by means of the tax bill. On the off chance that he fizzles, President Trump will be prepared. The Trump administration has prepared an executive order that would unravel Obamacare's individual mandate but has put it on hold to see whether repealing the penalties for going uninsured might be included in the Republican tax bill instead, a GOP senator told the Washington Examiner. President Trump decided to delay the executive order after Senator Tom Cotton, Republican Arkansas, pushed for the inclusion of the individual mandate repeal in the tax bill, and has been supportive of its inclusion in statements he has made on Twitter. After initially declining to comment on the senator's statements, a White House official pushed back on the claims, saying the administration's position is that Congress should resolve the issue. Pursuant to the president's January EO on Obamacare, we are always looking for ways to provide relief from Obamacare, the White House official said. The long-standing issues with the mandate would be best resolved legislatively. This is clearly Congress' job. Republicans were chosen on a stage that incorporated the repeal and replacement of Obamacare. That Republican authority has neglected to complete this is a declaration to either their inadequacy or their traitorousness to the individuals who chose them. In neither case, disappointment is inadmissible, and if that happens, they are without pardon. At the end of the day, if Ryan and McConnell can't get this provision disposing of the Obamacare singular order into a tax bill that passes the two places of Congress, they should both leave and let others assume control. It is offensive for President Trump to need to carry the water for the alleged Republican congressional authority. There are these things called Republican primaries. On the off chance that Republicans in Congress end up being the rhinos of which they are suspected. Republican voters need to take care of the issue at their next circumstance. What do you think about this? Do not hesitate and write your thoughts in the comment section below.